Hey everyone, welcome back to our EMT prep drip medication calculation series. We're going to be talking about an epi drip today. So again, we're going to go back to our formula that we're going to use. Prescribed dose times our drip factor over concentration in the bag. For today's purposes, we're going to say we've got a 35-year-old who needs an epi drip. So let's start plugging stuff in. We know that, generally speaking, the dose of epi is going to be somewhere between 2 to 10 mics per minute to start. So let's give him a starting dose of 10 mics per minute times our drip factor of 60 drops per mil. And we put all of that over the concentration in the bag. Now this is where it gets a little bit interesting. Where do we, what do we do with concentration here? Because very few places are going to carry pre-made epi drip bags. So we got to make our own. So what we're going to do is, and there's a lot of ways you can do this, but this is one way to consider. Take a milligram of epi in 1 to 1,000 concentration and squirt that into your 1 liter or 1,000 mil normal saline bag. When you do that, you get a concentration of 1 microgram per mil. We've got 1 to 1,000 in 1,000 equals 1 over 1. So now we can take that and we can punch it into our formula. So when we calculate up top, we see that we get 600 over 1. Cancel out our units, and we see that we're left with the units of drops per minute, and 600 over 1 is just 600. So calculating 600 drops per minute is going to be very difficult, especially if you don't have an IV pump. So one thing to do to consider, especially for the purposes of a test, is to consider changing your uh, drip set to a 10 drop per mil set. So if we do that and we work it out, we see, we see that we have 10 mics per minute times 10 drops per mil, over our one mic per mil concentration. That averages out to, that calculates out to 100 over 1, equaling 100 drops per minute. Just something to think about when you're showing your work. Hope that helps you on your next quiz. We'll see you on the next one.